Welcome to Yukanik today here in Yukanik. We have a 2014 Chevy Cruze. On the Chevy Cruze, we're going to go over the process to be able to check your fuses or where those fuse box locations are. So in the engine bay, and this is on the left side of the engine bay, we have um, two fuse boxes, one that's right here on top of the battery. This is the main fuse box. It's going to power all of the other fuse boxes. So. If we have a fuse that goes bad in here, well, then you know you definitely have a big um, electrical problem. But the, just so you know, we've got some fuses in here. We've got a 250 amp fuse here, another 250 amp fuse here, which this one goes straight down into this um, the smaller fuse box. And then we got a couple hundreds, 80s, and another 80 um, that feed other portions of the car. And then these fuses right here, this is where it would burn or break in case of an issue. And so you would need to replace this whole. Um, computer box that places on top of the battery if you had something go wrong here. Now, so that's our, our first one that's right on top of the battery. And then right next to the battery, we have our other fuse box. And both of these have the don't use your power washer on them. We don't want water to go in here and cause the corrosion. So these, the, to get the cover off of this fuse box, you squeeze these tabs inward and then you're able to just pull cover off and they have to work it up now if you just flip it up like this and then you'll be able the fuses in the location will be located right in that order and so you can hold it up like that and be able to find which fuse you're looking for we have a fuse uh, remover here and we have a bunch of relays and as we look down here we've got the numbers and what that fuse is controlling here then we have all the relays and we'll also have those number for the relays here and what they control and so if you're having an issue and you need to diagnose or find potentially what is the if the fuse went bad this will give you the guidance of where to find the particular fuse and look at it now if the fuse burns out well then when you replace it you just make sure that you replace it with the same size that you pull out these are our micro fuse or mini fuses but we have a 10 amp and this is a 60 amp. Uh, so again, if you remove a 10 amp, put a 10 amp back in. Don't put a larger one because they're designed for that to not, not trade them out, right? So yeah, and so that's your, your fuse box that's in the engine bay. I was checking here. Sometimes there's, some of these are spare. Um, it, I didn't see it on here really quickly. One that said was a spare, so. If you have them go bad, you're going to need to be uh, getting some new ones. But that's the, uh, the one in the engine bay, and then turn your cover back, and I'm going to put it back on with this clip over here. But that's um, so that you can uh, move on. So those are the two that are in the engine bay, and there's one more that is in the uh, cabin of the vehicle. So inside the cabin of the vehicle, we have another little fuse panel here. We just pop this little cover, and we have all the fuses in there. So we have a, a bunch of different fuses that are right in there. And we have the same thing. We have a list of the fuses and what they run on the back cover of our panel here. All right. And so then if you find what the fuse is, um, go ahead and replace it. But a lot of times if the fuse burns out, it's potential that there was something else that caused that fuse to burn out or shorted it. And so, you may, it may have been that the fuse got weak and just burn out, but it, a lot of times that is the sign that there's another issue that caused that to burn out. And so then you'll need to diagnose what that fuse runs, potentially, if you've got a frayed wire or something that's shorting it out. So that is your um, fuse box locations on your 2014 uh, Chevy Cruze. Thanks for watching Eukanik, where you can be the mechanic.